Good morning, everyone. Myself, Dr. Ketan Anirwal. I am from Jalgaon, and I am practicing homeopathy since from seven years. As I am attached with or attending lectures of Prapul sir since my second year, and till now I am attached with predictive family. Uh, today we are going to deal with uh, chapter number nineteen and chapter number chapter number twenty. from my assumption book before we starting uh, lectures uh, let's take a uh, blessings from master dr haneman and dr praful vijaykar who is my uh, guru dr uh, samuel haneman uh, found the homeopathy and had discovery about the my assumption and dr praful vijaykar sir who uh do the homeopathy easiest way uh, explore it uh, so easily so every youngster can do homeopathy so easily so taking blessings from them and we starting our lecture chapter number 19 so uh, chapter number 19 the heading is my assumption good or bad as we seen uh in previous chapter about myasm uh, myasm the mental picture and physical picture of myasm so now uh, seeing the uh, physical and mental picture of myasm now it's in good manner or in bad manner we didn't see at the starting uh, of homeopathy uh, we don't know about the myasm so there is so uh, some questions in mind that the uh, these myasms are good or bad so uh, as sir explained before that the every myasm is a defense mechanism of the body so it has some good angles it has some bad angles but as sir explained that if if anything has a good side it has darker side also so let's see what sir explained in chapter number 19 there are there are lots of arguments about myasms being good and that myasm being bad is sora better than psychosis or psychosis better than syphilis all three myasms have their good and bad sides all three are essential for the survival of being and species without any one of them human being will not function and will not survive without either of humans will not suffer or die so as sir always say the myasms are like a, a gear of car uh, when uh, you have to go slow you go with uh, first gear when you have to uh, pick up you have to go on top gears so our body is acting like that whenever the sequences or uh, some uh, evidences happen in, in front of us or we get triggered that according to that the body decided that what what gear should be there to defense against that situation so uh, there are three myasms sora psychosis and syphilis and uh, now we deal with now we discuss about sora sora uh, we always we used to say that be in sora be in sora so sora has a good part sora is always uh, be in sora is always a, a good thing be come in sora if you are psychosis in syphilis please come in sora so uh, you will be survive more but what is a uh, we seen all good sides of sora but what is the bad side of sora let's see sora related to the first function of survival it is also concerned with first defense response of organism to any calamities physical or mental 
so sora is the first defense mechanism where inflammation came in picture so body try to heat up and try to uh, avoid or try to kill that uh, pathogens or anything when the disease, when this defense is affected genetically genetically as in individuals born with sori constitution or by therapeutic agent or emotions it becomes pathological and start troubling the individual okay when now if patient has a uh, sori character and when it affected or it get triggers so uh, that mental picture or that trigger factor uh, shows the pathological changes accordingly in, on body so there is uh, irritations or gastric uh, disturbance or respiratory troubles all ids can happen after trigger of sora so it's not good that we have to uh, survive longer with sora if we always in sora and the sori diseases persist so it will trouble a lot to uh, patient okay so uh, for long standing sora or soratic cases it can be jump in any situation that's why be always in sora is not uh, good so uh, second myism syphilis syphilis we always thought it is a destructive condition is a destructive myism if you are in uh, syphilis all destructive diseases gets catch up if it can be a situation you can see the death or it can uh, the, or uh, syphilis can produce the destructive uh, things like uh, uh, degeneration like necrosis or uh, all kind of things can uh, syphilis can cause the destruction so syphilis is bad do you think so okay let's see we talk about syphilis as a myism of destruction everything bad is attributed to it it stand for destruction distortion perversion ugliness out of control hysterical etc but it has a good side too so today we are going to discuss about good side of syphilis which is so important to survive so good the goodness of syphilis the almighty has made this world keeping in mind the balance or equilibrium of opposite forces which makes this world go on we already discuss about world being made up of opposites so the uh, survey said that if you are uh, whatever things will happen uh, it came in two pairs it's positive or negative or it has a uh, opposite type of situation always there so uh, if there is a black there is a white if there is a male there has to be female if there is a bad there has to be good if syphilis has bad qualities it has good qualities too the goodness of syphilis lies in the advantages of destructive tendency in body so what sir said ki uh, if the, the uh, good qualities of good qualities of syphilis is hidden inside the destructive qualities of syphilis only so uh, what they are let's see the destruction in destructive response of cell is basically mean to save whole by sacrificing a part okay uh, here is the goodness of syphilis is arising now ar arising now so uh, when the uh, one part get affected by the noxious agents or some kind of pathology happen in that cell that time uh, body try to save it but when it out of the control so 
body then body try to fibrose it and settle that condition and sacrifices the function of that cell and that tissue so it can it cannot affect the other healthy tissues or organs okay so uh, sacrificing the part to leave this world the destruction is supposed to be to remove disease portion or cell or tissue it is a form of cell death designed to eliminate unwanted host cell through activation of internally programmed series and events so in our dna there is uh, some uh, type of activation processes are hidden when they get activated the destructive process get triggered and it start that defense mechanism so what are that uh, factors let's see so first is during development so when a uh, baby developed from a uh, child to adult that time many changes get happen in uh, body even in uh, even uh, during formation of zygote there is a uh, binary fusion between the cells so they get destruct get, they get divided in, uh, in each other and form the new structures so uh, during the developmental periods also the syphilis is the most important because when the cells get destruct it forms newly and it forms new type of matrix so second as homeostatic mechanism to maintain optimum cell population in tissue the cell in the body go on multiplying insanely so uh, syphilis is uh, when syphilis get activated to uh, maintain that homeostatic mechan uh, homeostatic mechanism or homeostasis in the body because when uh, when some uh, some processes or growth processes going on in our body that time many time uh, many things or many cells get divided and forming new structure but to maintain the some kind of uh, some kind of shape or some kind of uh, population of cells to maintain that uh, population syphilis is the most important thing otherwise uh, the cell in the body so growth is stimulus after every cut because when there is a cut the body started healing it and uh, forming a new structure if cell were to multiply without control there would be many tags warts and tumors all over extra cell need to be destroyed so if body is not doing uh, syphilitic things there will be multiple warts tags or tumor in your body okay so syphilis is the important uh, mechanism to survive this world or maintain this homeostasis third a defense mechanism such as in a immune reaction okay in immune reactions also when the pathogen uh, entered in the body and body get triggered this uh, noxious agent or whatever pathology they are forming that time body increases the uh, wbc count and fight against that and engulf that pathogens and get killed so they sacrifices their self for protection of body so it's also a syphilitic mechanism a good syphilitic mechanism to save the body from pathogens or any type of uh, uh, bacteria or virus or anything so defense mechanism defense mechanism is also a type of syphilitic mechanism fourth when cells are deranged by disease or noxious agent uh, as we discussed now the when uh, other bacterial noxious agents and are come the uh, immune system get hampered and they start to fight against that uh, pathogens or someone and get killed by themselves uh, get engulf that uh, pathogen and kill themselves next is aging so 
aging also a syphilitic process when cell get evolved and at the one time they uh, they get older so like these are uh, rbcs the rbcs has 21 days age cycle so when uh, every after every 21 days uh, the rbcs get shed off to forming new agents or new rbcs so uh, if you have to form new things you have to destroy the things also so we uh, we see in the five factors where syphilis get triggered or syphilis get uh, syphilitic processes get activated so let's go on next para it is syphilitic it is the syphilitic constitution which makes daredevil fighters or soldiers okay uh, the most important uh, mechanism and the most important uh, things for our nation or every nation that are the uh, daredevil fighters they go on loc and uh, some ki uh, kind of borders and they sacrifices their own life for uh, countrymen or for uh, that country the love that country this much so they he they try to or they uh, lose their own life because to uh, just save the uh, nation so this is also a syphilitic process or syphilitic thinking so uh, but it has it is a good syphilitic thing to save the world uh, to save that nation against uh, against the uh, any uh, damage they are they are they are there to risk their lives to save their countrymen when orders are given the soldier whether is on foot or on air does not fear the consequences he attacks without fear he kills without sentiments all for good of country what are the what can a coward and fearful soldier do at the front no so uh, the uh, coward or fearful soldiers can do the things which uh, can do the daredevil things they have to be people with a do or die attitude this is not this is not a disease it is just a sheer disturbance or syphilitic syphilis of highest level so uh, we are living free life only because of good syphilis otherwise there will be a lots of trouble in our life so uh, we see the goodness of syphilis now now uh, proceed to goodness of psychosis psychosis always uh, explained as a facade or a, uh, hiding things or uh, ma manipulating or do the uh, selfish work but uh, psychosis always learn to live the life because whatever uh, consequences or whatever the situation came in front of how to tackle it and how to proceed further is always teach by or uh, activation it is happen only because of activation of psychosis so uh, let's see uh, what are the uh, goodness of psychosis what is the advantage of growth tendency in the body why the body been given a tendency to grow the body both mentally and physically is bounded to be a wounded many times so um, in in this life we always get injured by physically or mentally somewhere so uh, psychosis psychosis is the miasm who recover the things or recover mentally or physically the tissue if they were to be destroyed and not regrow 
at the end of life the human being would have been given in uh, have been in traitors okay so if uh, psychosis is not there there will be no healing no uh, the uh, the human being may be in the uh, bad situation may be land up so psychosis is good because psychosis is there to uh, heal yourself thus the growth tendency in the gene helps to repair what is cut at the uh, broader level people who are born with predominance of growth tendency or psychosis predominance are the ones who have a mental aptitude for a progress okay uh, the the persons who have uh, predominance of psychosis they always think for a growth and they uh, always think for a progress they always try to gather the things they always try to uh, go ahead so if you want to succeed or if you want to uh, proceed or progress in your life uh, your psychosis must be strong so mankind would never have progress but what kind of psychosis it's a good psychosis uh, you have uh, you, you are gathering knowledge you are gathering something uh, you are gathering uh, stuffs in good way to survive yourself only if it is land up in uh, bad psychosis you can land up easily in syphilis so be in good psychosis mankind would never have progress from ape to modern man if there was no growth tendency or psychosis to the psychotic brain goes the credit all the discoveries and inventions as we as we discussed before the psychosis the psychotic ma uh, mind can progress or discover or invent the new things for their self the man encounters many difficulties in progress he get over it because of his fertility of brain when when you have some difficulties in uh, any field or any type of work the psychosis get fertility of brain psychosis discover the way to uh, come out of it or tackle that situation the generals in army and the head of police or nation have to to have psychosis in the nation has to register progress so the heads any heads of uh, any institution must be a psychotic if that uh, institution has to grow likewise in a nation too if any nation have to grow there must be a strong psychosis so psychosis always gives a good goodness in your life if you use it good ways so it's end of chapter 19 we are completing chapter 19 uh, let's proceed to chapter number 20 okay the chapter number 20 is birth myism uh for see what is a birth myism so in this chapter sir explain about the uh, newborn baby's uh, birth myism when baby uh, get birth that time what myism he is carried is the most important to prescribe the medicines or find the medicines or find the mechanism of action of that individual child so how that uh, how when why baby choose that uh, myism and how we get evolved with that let's see further so chapter number 20 the birth myism when an individual is born he inherits his natural traits 
and characteristics from his parents so uh, every uh, child or every newborn baby has characters of mother and father but uh, as always uh, someone says that ki the baby on uh, father or baby on uh, mother so how it gets decided that it is uh, uh, he is on uh, mother or he is on father but he carries the character of both parents so there are inheritance in genes not all genes are developed to give his individual a character so every genes is not responsible to develop their character but they are in inside to help the uh, situations or in, uh, they help to uh, proceed further some genetic traits are dormant some are prominent so some are uh, seen by uh, eyes only or some you are seen in that person or some are not seen in that person so the which are, which are seen are dom, uh, dormant and which are not seen are prominent it all depends upon which of the genes are not activated and which are activated the activated genes produce a synthesized protein which gives individual a character so the dominant genes get uh, start the uh, process uh, dominant gene uh, gives the uh, character to the person for example a father may be tall fat rounded face very hot tempered psychotic individual the mother may be sorry normal build mild timid apprehensive individual the child take up the sorry trait of mother and have the same nature and the structure of mother with few properties from father so uh, so given one example over here that the uh, father is from psychosis and mother from soric miasm but when child get birth uh, he came with soric character so they he adopt the characters of mother okay so dominant miasm is sora in this uh, baby this is the dominant miasm sora in this child this child will be physical this child will have a physical makeup mental makeup and susceptibility of sora hence it will sori constitution so uh, if child adopt with sori miasm or birth with sori miasm he always be in uh, sora no it's not like that let's see what happen further if future in future when this soric defense is found insufficient to counter adverse circumstances it is liable to change in constitution from sora to psychosis so the dormant or the received traits of father okay so when the bad situation came in front of the child the sorry child get convert or get shift in psychotic which are the uh, which are the character adapted from father or which are the genes or uh, character of genes uh, taken from father so uh, that child is react to uh, or react or shift in psychotic defense mechanism in a case so it's one case uh, the second case in case of lady who predominantly sorry with timidity and anxiety dominating her nature and if after marriage or after being deceived by the partner she gradually become strong positive angry manipulative so that 
she has to survive adverse additions and uh, not let other take advantages of her she may change the miasm or defense from sora timid anxiety to psychotic positive and manipulative which can be the same in the same remedy so uh, uh, so given one example of lady who is before marriage she was uh, in soric trade uh, finding everything or uh, accepting the things on soric uh, floor but when she get got married the circumstances get changed the new situation came in her life so for uh, when she seen the uh, consequences or some uh, incidents in her life by her, is uh, by her uh, by her husband uh, she get triggered and she convert herself in psychotic and then she started manipulating hiding the things and uh, positive being getting strong angry so it's a mechanism but see the uh, soric sora to psychosis is just a defense mechanism of her life so if she is in some remedy like lachesis uh, then she, uh, she she shows the character of psychosis of lachesis so here the sir introduces the uh, trimasmatic picture of one medicine every medicine go through sora psychosis and syphilis what are the symptoms uh, they expresses is the most important to know uh, the physician so for example uh, lachesis soric phase of defense soric phase of defense when suffering from inflammatory diseases of respiratory tract etc will timid anxious suspicious but once it changes defense to constructive pathology it switches its genetic traits to manipulative sly positive creative more or less bolder than before to get its work done by hook or crook with obvious activation of psychosis psychosis gene at mental level the physique also start reflecting the changes to obesity rounded feature so uh, the anxious anxious picture of psych uh, lachesis and the psychotic manipulative picture of lachesis here this shifting of miasma the same remedy is tribal they form uh, in lachesis in this uh, soric phase it suffered from uh, soric illnesses all ids or respiratories uh, bronchitis but when the miasm get shifted there is a constructive mechanism or constructive mechanism get started to cover that uh, inflammation or cover that affected part so that if there is a covering factor in our mind and in psychosis there should be a come up of psychosis in on the physical level also so if in mind there is hiding 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 so uh, disease also try to hide their self they, they form the strong mechanism or strong defense mechanism or strong wall against any disease processes so there is a thickening of skin or there is a hyper deposition of pigments or there is a uh, deposition or constructive uh, constructive work again that tissues fibrosis so uh, it's just when the uh, miasm get shifted from one uh, form to another form there will be changes of mental levels too if other dormant trait is syphilitic the person might change 
from sora to syphilis so if any uh, father or mother have a mother have sora and uh, father is having syphilitic character so there is a chances to shift uh, from sora to directly in syphilis because it's in in uh, because it's in dna to show the character glycases with extreme suspiciousness extreme uh, and uh, what will be the uh, syphilitic picture of glycases now suspiciousness extreme jealous hatred malice over sensitive to touch with suffocative tendency bleeding destructive blueness pathology uh, pathologies at physical levels so all these pathologies or all these kind uh, syphilitic type of picture can seen in uh, syphilitic phase of lachesis many of our remedies have all the three miasmatic representation in them the mental and the physical symptoms of respective miasm will be uppermost in the remedy when individual has individual that defense so every medicine has a trimiasmatic pictures mostly every medicine have a trimiasmatic picture uh, uh, when it affects to mental level it comes on physical so so but it has uh, it has uppermost remedy when the individual has a defense okay so we'll see some remedies uh which acting trimasmatically so sulfurs soric nature what uh, sulfur we always used to say the sulfur is the king of uh, sora or it's uh, it's a soric remedy when whenever uh, or inflammation happen or any kind of uh, redness and uh, hot flushes and all some uh, these things get Uh, observed by some physician, they uh, they may think of uh, sora first, because because in all uh, soric nature is formed by the sulfur. So sulfur soric nature will be pre predominant during sori on physical disease stage. Sulfur psychotic nature will be predominant during psycho psychotic disease stage. and also about syphilis so uh, sulfur shows their manifestation of sulfur shows the character of sora psychosis and syphilis in their uh, according stages of diseases so one disease came in body so it shows sora psychosis and syphilis in progressive manner so like that only Uh, sulfur can evolve from sora psychosis and up to syphilis also thus we have soric sulfur psychotic sulfur and syphilitic sulfur too in our matra medica same is true with argentum metallicum lycopodium pulsatilia and other remedies too so as we uh, discussed uh, before the every uh, polycrest medicines have their uh, soro psychosis and syphilitic uh, views as uh, that baby or that individual born with that uh, medicine or kind of miasm it evolved in uh, directions but uh, so is that uh, main uh, miasm or that remedy is uh, follow always the same pattern so let's see uh, what's uh, discussed further same is the two with or a metallicum lycopodium pulsatilla all other remedies this is a best of trimasmatic matra medica this solve the question of how and why the same remedy can timid as well as courageous mild as well as angry dull and intelligent active and inactive these qualities are not just a polarities but defense or miasmatic representation
so uh, the shifting of uh, thought process or shifting of uh, emotions are always uh, with bound with the miasmatic thing so it is always that the constitution is soric phase has to change to psychotic phase of same remedy no it's not like that always when you treating some uh, when you treating the miasm the time the chances is there to shifted of the uh, miasmatic picture because uh, in that stage uh, that remedy cured or the uh, they end up the uh, survive things or the uh, symptomatic treatment or symptomatic uh, things get cured by that medicine and it will shift their genetic trait too so uh, if uh, you are given a, a sulfur in soric stage uh, when maybe uh, that person get more older that there may be chances of shifting of picture but we have to know the uh, act, uh, the first remedy or the first soric remedy which we are given to him it helps a lot how it will help let's see the soric sulfur can change to psychotic complementary like pulsatilla or bryonia so that person get evolved or get changed genetic traits but it is in the relationship or uh, in complementaries of that medicine so if we know the uh, soric picture or a soric uh, um, remedy or uh, uh, soric stage remedy of that person so we can uh, easily find the other uh, change trait of that medicine in uh, respective medicine medicines complementary or relationship uh, diseases uh, relationship drugs if the genetic expression changes that is constitution changes it has to go to one of the complementaries or relationship of previous remedy so we know the uh, previous remedy or we know the uh, first soric remedy so that's why the child history is the most important in our test taking uh, how the person get shifted so what was his uh, before character so we can find the uh, other remedy uh, to confirm the actual trait of that medicine so uh, psychosis and syphilitic, uh, syphilitic constitution psycho, uh, psychotic and syphilitic constitution suffer from soric diseases that will reflect the birth miasm okay uh, so the psychotic and syphilitic constitution can show the soric diseases also or it shows the uh, soric disease reflection of the birth miasm. So, so if uh, you have some soric diseases, there will be some reflection of your miasms also seen in that disease. How it will be? Let's see. Question frequently asked is coriza or dermatitis or soric manifestation that is in body is fighting with physiological defense. So, whenever any type of disease came in your body, there will be activation of primary or physiological defense of the body. It will be its body's primary defense mechanism. If there is any pathogens or any type of uh, uh, any type of virus or something came in your body, body get uh, activations of defense mechanism. Body start temperature. So, fever is a soric disease, inflammation, it shows the inflammatory character, it increases the temperature of body to uh, kill that virus or kill that uh, pathogen. But uh, fever is sora, soric disease, but its character is always get changed by dominant miasm. Like in, uh, if uh, 
uh, in sorry character fever can and show, uh, show some uh, temperatures and then uh, go uh, then uh, it shows the uh, heat, chilled heat and uh, perspiration uh, stages but when fever came in psychotic miasm there will be persistent uh, persistent heat stage of body it maintains 100 to 101 100 to 101 but it not come came uh, down and don't show the perspiration to reduce the uh, temperature in fever in psychotic and in uh, fever in syphilitic stages it gives the higher temperature like 101 104 or maybe in 106 with uh, lots of trouble with uh, lots of uh, uh, feeds in uh, delirium feeds or uh, any physical activation so there is there is a destructive picture of soric disease this uh, fever so uh, we always uh, know the uh, disease and their character we have to know that what type of character that disease have so a thuja predominantly psychotic or uh, nitric acid predominantly syphilitic miasm never suffer from soric disease like coriza so discuss uh, a remit, uh, a disease of coriza which is from soric origin and uh, they suffered from uh, and it came in uh, psychotic stage and syphilitic stages in thuja and nitric acid so if yes then should be given a soric remedy or psychotic remedy person having psychotic or syphilitic character and he is having coriazanum so what what we have to prescribe on the basis of on soric basic on soric miasma or on psychotic miasm so it's easy the uh, disease is only the sora or a disease character or a disease is soric disease but it shows the uh, character of a uh, dominant miasm every constitution whether it is psychotic thuja or syphilitic nitric acid <coughs> has to undergo first physiological defense uh, that is inflammation when it is attacked by virus the birth constitution may be predominantly psychotic but has to show inflammatory response okay what are what are the uh, whatever the uh, pathogens came in body show uh, the consequences but body has to show the primary defense mechanism to trigger the brain or trigger the body so other uh, mechanism get activated further so uh, birth constitution may be predominantly psychotic but he has to show inflammatory responses birth constitution may be syphilitic but he has to suffer from inflammatory responses when first attacked by bacteria or virus etc but reaction to situation will be different in psychotic psychosis and syphilis how it will show let's see if thuja or nitric sulf suffered from cold and coriza which are the dominantly uh, psychotic remedies so the symptoms will be reminding us of psychosis patient will not have a free flowing transparent coriza which is representation of sora or irritability and sneezing of sora so uh, in psychotic level this soric disease not showing this transparent uh, fluid or irritation or sneezing the nose will either block or there will be excessive discharge from nose so the picture of psychosis came, came in this disease now huh? the discharges will be more yellow or green color 
rather than transparent so in psychotic level the uh, uh, coriza get affected uh, patient came in coriza uh, coriza but it shows the psychotic character of discharges the discharge will be more yellow and greenish so yellow greenish foul smell where, where we got this in psychosis only so if the patient is predominantly in syphilitic stage now patient is syphilitic stage like nitric acid or merck salt they will still suffer from coriza and cold but discharges will exco excoriating bloody same kind happen in dysentery and diarrhea also if it is diarrhea or dysentery that will be bloody there will be a blood in uh, syphilitic stages so uh, that prominence of miasms or that time you have to understand the miasm of that person that dominant miasm of that person and you have to pick up that thing and describe according to it even the aggravation time of coriza in syphilitic will as usual night or sunset to sunrise where the psychotic remedies will be aggravation at their aggravation time so uh, in syphilitic stages the syphil uh, aggravation time is also the night uh, night aggravation or sunset aggravation we get to in uh, syphilitic stages or evening uh, type of aggravation we got in psychotic way so uh, these things the disease also shows the uh, dominant character of that miasm of that person so that that we have to uh, collect that thing or detach that uh, symptom from the other uh, point of view of that disease if you get these things or if you notice these things you will be easily prescribed all type of uh, you can easily prescribe in all type of diseases uh, if you knows the uh, basic character of that person and the basic character of that disease the consequence for psychotic and syphilitic will be the course of uh, will be of course different so psychotic and syphilitic course must be differently they shows the different character the thuja natrum sal pulsatilla medorinum etc will if coriza is suppressed develop thickened nasal septum or hypertrophy okay here they uh, so shows uh, shows what happen uh, when these uh, sora gets uh, suppressed and the psychotic picture will come how how these uh, psychotic picture will come so develop thick uh, thickened uh, nasal septum or hypertrophy of uh, turbinates in keeping with their psychotic or constructive traits <clears throat> so old coriza get uh, suppressed there will be a uh, thickening of nasal septum or hypertrophy of uh, turbinates so uh, here it shows the psychotic defense mechanism or psychosis of that person the mercuries or fluorides bromides or acids which have predominance of syphilitic destructive traits these all these are syphilitic remedy they they always go with the syphilitic character at their core so will further develop either distortion of nose even shape of nose or go into destruction of nasal cartilages so coriza will come uh, coriza shows the primary defense but when primary defense is not sufficient because the person is already predom uh, dominant miasm like syphilis then there has to be destruction or there has to be a bleeding or there ha there has to be cracks in uh, nose because of dominant syphilitic miasm
a phosphorus or a sulfur can be of any miasm there can be a sodic phosphorus psychotic or even phosphorus syphilitic similarly uh, there can be so uh, phosphorus is a polycrest remedy it shows the soro psychosis and syphilitic picture uh, it shows the whole uh, cycle of miasms Sim similarly there can be a sulfur whose uh, who's having so, uh, soric psychotic and syphilitic picture it all depends on what were inherits trait that predominate in individual so uh, the disease are not important uh, the man on man in the disease is more important than disease in man what sir said so uh, any type of disease syphilitic or psychotic or uh, any kind of disease came in body what type of this material or what type of this soil is there that is more important then that according to that that uh, disease get flourish and get evolved or get cured also so all uh, if inherent traits of sulfur have been predominantly soric then this man will be remain in the sora even up to the rip old age suppose if that person having a sori character since uh, childhood and any disease came in his body the body react like a sori stage only but the body shows the sori character of that disease only so it's most important thing that the uh, which miasm he get birth with it's important to know the character of miasm which that uh, that child get with if it has soric trait in childhood there is chances that he, he uh, any type of disease came in body and it shows only the soric character till the old age or till the death too he will go on on suffering from skin rash boils eczema throughout his life because he is predominantly in soric stage he has in um, since childhood he has a soric dominant miasm there are generally lucky people they are generally lucky people they will suffer from minor soric troubles like hypertension diabetes thyroid problems etc so if any old age person came with some hypertension or diabetes uh, age is uh, 70 above and he is complaining about that uh, problems first congratulate that person that you are so lucky that you are suffering from these minor illnesses your body uh, survive or your body depends so nicely that you are always in this minor type of uh, symptoms only okay uh, it is always advisable to make them aware that uh, they are lucky to have such a minor problems and any attempt if if not proper with proper similimum may be dangerous so at the age of 70 above and person came in your life in your opd the body uh, defensing or saving from the uh, further miasmatic growth or further kind of things and if if your prescription is not the at bull's eye there will be chances of breakage of this miasm and it can shows the predominant or the prominent miasm of that uh, person so it can be land up in psychosis or it can be land up in syphilis so better way avoid the prescription so discussed one uh, case over here there was this case of man 
in his 50s who came with complaints of long standing burning in stomach diagnosed as hyperacidity with skin rash or dorsum of hand since long time so person a person uh, patient came with the picture of acidity and skin rash on hand he was after long comprehensive history prescribed lycopodium so uh, every character every things are given and uh, taken and then finally came on lycopodium the hyper hyper acidity miraculously disappeared within 8 to 10 days making patient very much appreci appreciative about homeopathy so uh, the magic will happen here the uh, old standing hyperacidity get reduced or get uh, vanished because of lycopodium and that person or that uh, man was so happy that uh, homeopathy uh, gives a wonderful result who, may, who uh, many physicians try to avoid that or uh, try to cure that thing but no one can do the homeopathy is the only thing who uh, the homeopathy do, did the miracle in his life the skin too started drying off and red discoloration disappeared and was replaced by the black pigmentation so it's good or bad the red pigmentation which are inflammatory signs which get vanished now now there is a discoloration but black pigmentation this is a dangerous sign wait it's it's not a curing a case it's taking a patient at somewhere which is unknown place for him this actually is a dang dangerous sign the soric manifestation was changing over precipitation of excess pigmentation of psychosis so uh, disease get evolved disease get transformed in sora to psychosis now this warning of body was not heeded body given a warning sign that now i am changing or now i am shifting my gear so it's a progressive disease of progression of myism patient become fan of homeopathy but patient is so satisfied and he is so happy that uh, he get cured with that all hyperacidity and pigmentation kind of thing within one month he has he was free of two distressing symptoms which the complementary specialist and not cured for 15 long years or more so he was so happy he celebrating the things that uh, homeopathy cured the hyperacidity and the uh, red pigmentation of body but in the fifth week the patient suffer from severe gastric gastric upset and vomiting the progress of myism the progress of disease disease never get progress the myism get changed that's why the expression of disease get changed totally his appetite had already uh, slowly reduced he was admitted for investigation and was found to be suffering from jaundice but the case was biliary duct carcinoma which turned out to be fatal so shifting of myism 15 year body maintain that soric state after one remedy the soric state or soric state get destruct or get triggered progressively they go in psychosis in for a short time and land up in psychotic level uh, land up in syphilitic level so short psychosis and final syphilitic level he was cured cured in one month and died in two months only 
so how shortly body uh, put their self on security clip so moral of the story is that let the sora is expressed in least important organ like skin and respiratory tracts soric functional organ and at an elderly age and don't treat it so let's celebrate the sora when they are at a old age they showing the uh, minute ess and work so don't treat, don't try to treat it if it's a uh, wrong medicine it will leads to death understand the language of disease expression and change the defense mechanism from sora to psychosis or sora to syphilis so body always show the uh, changes of miasm it shows the uh, trigger or the, it shows the warning signs to us but we can't see that expressions try to see that expressions uh, get caught that expressions after every uh, prescription let's see the disease is progressing on what way or the disease is shifting from what uh, one disease is shifting from what which other diseases or what type of symptom they are showing there are new symptoms or old symptoms okay so we get the idea that uh, that person is shifting from sora to psychosis or psychosis to syphilis or uh, sora to syphilitic directly and it helps to prescribe a remedy accordingly the the miasmatic states giving lots of hint to uh, prescribe the medicine prescribe the medicine then uh, repetition of medicine and the potencies of uh, medicine all these depends on these miasms we have to know the process disease process and the uh, dominant miasm of that person if we know the thing or we, if we know the these things it's easy to practice and easy to prescribe every medicine and it will show a wonderful result surely last but not the least never be happy with fast or rapid cures in long standing diseases there are more often that than not gross suppression so in long standing chronic diseases in psychotic chronic diseases don't uh, don't uh, don't try to be fastly cured or don't try to be uh, find a fast results in that diseases because the uh, the body is uh, continuously maintaining that state because to save uh, their self only so if he is uh, if that uh, body uh, maintaining that things or maintaining that miasms so there will be some uh, irritations or some type of defense or some type of uh, sequences of uh, coincidence happening in his life so that's why body is reacting or uh, showing that uh, miasmatic threat so don't try to break it just try why it is not why it is in that miasmatic state only okay they are more often than not gross suppression ha huh. if you uh, try, uh, it, it may be goes in suppression in uh, bad suppressions uh, uh, you are treating the sora or you are treating a skin disease skin diseases are the most uh, common things uh, the uh, physician given some uh, combination of physician give some uh, kind of medicines and it gets suppressed and show the different type of picture or different type of diseases in body so we go further a mixed miasm very often an individual might have predominantly physical and mental threat of psychosis and few threats of syphilis too okay so uh, in our body uh, as it's uh, all three miasms or all three depend uh, defense mechanism in our body so it shows some type of symptoms uh, type of mixed type of symptoms in our body so how to treat it or how to uh, get 
according to you uh, so accordingly we can uh, prescribe the medicine so this amount of psycho syphilitic constructions constitutions if the traits are more syphilitic that is destructive pathologies destructive mental uh, mentality and a few trait of psychosis for example slyness deceitfulness workmanship showmanship etc we can call this syphilo psychotic constitution means the syphilitic tendency are more and psychotic tendency are less they are shifting from psychotic to syphilis that's why uh, there are more number of symptoms or more number of character of syphilis there but some character of psychosis also there present so it's a syphilo psychotic constitution same is the true with miasm of sora similarly therefore we can have a soro psychotic soro syphilitic or syphilo psychotic constitutions or psycho syphilitic constitutions okay where what type of symptoms or which group of symptoms are more in body and which are less so accordingly we can think of to uh, get the uh, remedy accordingly so what is the significance of these all these chapters is determining the predominance of miasm help us to determine the remedy or the similimum as will be discussed later so the similimum or this further if you know if you want to know the how you have to prescribe in all type of miasms all type of uh, constitution uh, in next chapter it will be continued thank you so much here we completing the uh, chapter number 20 and uh, chapter number 19 uh, let's meet you at next thursday with new chapters thank you so much